What's happening, Captain? This is your boy CB Hunts. And what you have before you is NECA Back to the Future Part 2 Ultimate 2015 Doc Brown. Before we get this figure here, I gotta give a special thank you to my Order 66 crew member. Toy Master 1980, aka Renee Pompa. Bro, I gotta thank you from the bottom of my heart. He said, Bro, uh, I know you like uh, this movie, and, uh, and uh, I know you got all the figures. I seen this early. I just wanna give it out to you, try to help you out. Bro, thank you. Man, it wasn't for you, fam. I wouldn't have this. You ain't lying. Early. But I just want to say thank you. Now, as you can see from the box, this mother look off the chain. They, they, they have the uh, the uh, who say the day Argo in the front. So, uh, apologize about that. Looking off the chain. I love the way this looks. It's just like they took the part of the magazine and just cut it on out. Got it on the side of the box. Got the got the. Logo of the movie, car, got the ultimate Doc Brown, and on the back of the box, it showed the image of Doc in the figure form. And if you look very extremely closely at the images of all the figures, they have a little something extra. Probably can't see, but I'll put a more of a, a better image right here of who's coming next. They gave clues out. Showing his bat and the hoverboard when they was naming off this figure here. But Doc Brown, he has a he has a bio. So if you want to read it, pause it. Here it goes. But trust me, when we get back, we will have this bad boy in the box. And we will see what to do with a Doc Brown. Oh. One thing I forgot to do, I forgot to show you how he looks in the box. You tell your boy inside it when I get this mug out. So, this is how he looks in the box. As you can see, he's looking off the chain. Seeing everything he comes with, plus got the image of Doc Brown right there. And now, I can say, I'm about to, about to open this bad boy up and see what to do with Doc Brown. And now we got this bad boy out the box. Man, it comes with some nice, awesome stuff that reminds you of the movie. You ain't lying. But the first thing is first, we talk about anything else. We talk about talking about the figure. We talk about everything he comes with. You know, the first thing he comes with, we're gonna start with. He comes with extra pair of hands, as you can see here. We can hold stuff it's right here. Really nice, really detailed. That's that right there. Next thing he comes with is his I will I will say like high tech high tech uh b, like be like be binoculars he used so they look exactly how to do in the movie so I kind of like how he looks look quite nice next thing he comes with is the same thing that's on the front of the box is the actual uh, newspaper. So, it is full form, look at, look at tight, but it doesn't have nothing on the back. This is plain paper. This is it right here. And next thing I'm gonna get to is like, is his scared or Worried face of Doc Brown. 
feel like the same hair scope he has in, in the other one as well. But I'm telling you, these eyes look scary looking to me. Because I don't know what these eyes, they just, how they make the eyes now. It look like they actually move along with the head. How I'm looking at it, I don't know if it's showing on camera. The way he moves is like he's actually moving his eyes a certain certain direction. We you want, we you want. Look at it. It is it, creepy looking. He ain't lying. Face, very extremely detailed. Hair. I think like I think it's like a three tone black, like a white and a dark, dark like a um, mustard color. But that's how it look right there. Next hair scope that he got is more of his. Happy face. Get more of his eyes looking off to, 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 to the side a little bit. Show his teeth a lot more. Looking quite nice. I like the there the they're like a uh, movie face. Uh, how they look? How, how it's made? Is looking a lot better. I know that right there, but this is how it looks right here with its smile. And the last piece I wanted to have it in because it's very detailed is his case of like cash from over the years. It says emergency cash, got a steel type thing, but it does feel like it has like. It has like tape over the over the actual piece and it feels tight like that. Hey, excuse me. And you see like um how the piece kinda like raised a little bit and like it's actually done with a marker. But the case does open up. And reveals all the cash he has in there. What what I like about this is, even though it got detail like this, but it feels like you can actually take these out of the sleeve. How it's made, I kind of like that that detail. Like if you if you did want to take these out, you actually can. So he has like 1955, 1923, 17, 1864 type money. 1934, 1914, 1902, 1964, 1865 again, 1914, 1864, and all the other the dates right here. So that so that's kinda that's kinda badass right there. Damn right. I like that. So we're gonna talk about the main man himself. Doc Brown. As soon as we get back, and now for the main man himself, Doc Brown. I love these shades on him right here. This is the outfit that I think that the head sculpt I'm gonna have on my actual actual shelf. I love the way this looks in this coat. Got a nice, same kind of inside, like how it is in a movie. Love his shirt, type of design, and he got his, his clear, his clear tie that he has, and on both wrists he has, a, he has two different watches. He has a silver watch with with it does it does come off if you, if you, if you like if, if you like take off the hand it does come off, and on the other side this type of watch it does come off. And his pants is more of a, a like, a like, uh, awful cone pattern as ice cream, as a, as a ice cream cone pattern type pants. As you can see, guys like his, uh, pants is underneath, going to boots, all black boots. They got some type of tech on the boots, as you can see here, you got pieces on the boots, but on the thing I say you got to be very careful on 
at this back piece here on the back of the boots. You cannot raise the foot up too high or too low, but make sure you got him in a good position because you don't want him to fall and have these have these like fall off because these are, seem like they're very very fragile and can easily these break off. Not going articulation, but just a little bit. But you can't really bend too far up because it will. Let me get off camera because I don't want to try to do it and break it on camera. Just want to show. Just the far as I'll be able to do it right here because. You can see it's extremely close. You probably he could probably go back even further, but with this piece here, no way. But love the way the outfit looks on dock, looking clean as a whistle. Hey, Lauren. But along with Doc, we're gonna show a little bit of his articulation with him. Doc can look up that high, look down. That can't, can't really look down too far. Got a little bit of head tilt. He can raise his arms up that much. He got no bicep swivel. Single joint elbow. Does has a little twist in the elbow. Hinge to the wrist. As you can see, turn all the way around. He has a little bit of ab crunch, but not much. So can't really bend down too far, but he can bend. Can't really go back too much because the coat kind of hinders that. He can do the splits by that much. Keep his legs up that high. He has a single knee, as you can see. Bring his foot up so much, and I saw you how far back that can go. He does have ankle pivot. All in all, this is a good figure to have if you love the movies, because I know I do. It's like. Well, like one of my favorites yeah, and once again thank you Renee for for like sending <laughs> me this 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 figure right here and now we come part of the review we see how the other figure looks in the wave up to uh, Doc Brown and first we're, first person we got out the bat is the is Echo Ultimate Biff Cannon? He look off the chain. You see how it looks next to Doc Brown himself. You see he got the All Max sitting right there. He's back it looking nice and clean. I did in the in the uh, 1955. Hopefully they make the Biff like how he looks when he's much older from from Part Two. But I'm hoping I'm praying. They actually make uh, 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 Marty's dad and mom, George McFly and Lorraine uh, McFly. I know my homeboy Black Knight Seventeen. He has a certain Lorraine he wants to make. <laughs> I'm not saying, <laughs> but. If you're watching this, he know. <laughs> so, hope they make those as well. And stick it to the year 1955. Here's how he stack up next to his own self, the ultimate dark brown from that timeline. You can tell by the hair. His hair is a little bit more blonder in the in like the. 1955, how it looked in the, in the actual uh, 85. Look, is basically 85 Doc, but he, but he went towards 2015. So, this is how these two looks standing side by side with each other. And last but not least, this is how he stacks up next to 2015 um, uh, Ultimate. Marty McFly, how it looks in that uh, part two movie with his hobo hat and and Pepsi Free. <laughs> how it looks, and I really do like the how 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 uh, Nick is really pulling out all the punches with these because these look 
off the chain. You ain't lying. I love this movie, but I'm hoping because I saw like these prints back in the day. I don't know if it's actually him, but I will show it here because if they make my other 80s movie Demolition Man as you can see right here if they make these here if these are actual drawings of them because like the same type of drawings that they showed of Biff's arm as you can see right here so if they if they thinking about making these I need all of these right here I need all of them because Demolition Man is crazy. They have Simon Phoenix. Uh, uh, what's her name? Lou, Lou uh, Luana Huxley? I can't remember her first name. And, um, Sylvester Stallone character. I forgot his name. Oh, I can't think of his name. But, I will put it right here. Because with these characters here, I, w I want that all day long, fam. He ain't lying. But this is how he looks right here with uh, these two. And this is my review of the um, Eka Back to the Future 2 Ultimate 2015 Doc Brown. Hope you enjoyed the review. Good trust me, boy. Fun time making it. And you know, with every review, I will take pictures. This is my Instagram right here. But I will leave links down below. We can go and check those out. And your boy is on TikTok. Well, I'll take those same pictures. I'll put them over there. But I just add some flair. This is your boy, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one. Trust me, I will be catching you in the next one. Peace.